Nostalgia is a website for sharing nostalgic stories, videos for your place you miss the most. You can enter the continent you're interested in and watch videos from many different cities. The whole concept behind this website is about the common feeling of homesickness. The thing about New York is that it always knows just how to treat you. When you're happy, the people, the trees, and the hum of the subway cars come alive. And when you're not, you can always find solace in one of the many hole-in-the-wall coffee or bookshops. You can count on authentic food, eclectic people, and a life full of surprises. In her 20s, my mom worked as a media planner in the city and was given a poster that now hangs at my aunt's house. It reads, You have to be mad to live in New York but you'd have to be crazy to live anywhere else. It's just a place that sticks to your ribs. Four years ago, the city was hit by a series of blizzards. On one of the first snows, my sister and I took cover in a tiny coffee bar and had some of the best salted caramel lattes I've ever had. As the snow stopped and we peeled ourselves off the couches, we walked out onto a street already ankle deep in snow that was so pure and untouched you'd have thought the city was deserted. We stuck out our tongues, made snow angels, and then walked home, cold, content, and wired from too much caffeine and the magic of our city. Greece is most famous for its islands, but that's not all that Greece has to offer. Piraeus, the town I grew up in, is the key to most of the islands, as it is the biggest port of Greece. The most amazing thing about Piraeus is the fact that it is a crowded city, but with the feeling of a closed community. In the most stressful moments of my life, my only medicine was a walk by the sea, tirelessly climbing the rocks. The most precious moments are those that I've shared with my dearest friends by the huge cross, a monument built to honor the lost seamen. The marina is where I mostly hung out for drinks and coffee with my mates. It is an idyllic place for peace of mind and moments of leisure. The view is amazing as you can see yachts in the sea, some standing still and some sailing away. I will always remember that New Year's Eve night, years ago, after a huge party, full of dance and alcohol, we ended up at the marina, watching the sunrise and dreaming about the years to come. My last month in Ukraine was very special. Before moving to Brighton, I wanted to catch every good moment and take them all with me. I went to Koktebel, small town in Crimea near the Black Sea. I've been there with my school friends before, in summer 2009, and I loved this place. This time I went there in work, as I had to write articles about jazz festival for online magazine. I was so excited! Five days on the seaside with my boyfriend who agreed to go with me, wonderful music and wine. Yes, wine, that Cocktail is famous for. Oh, I wish I could explain in words how good it was. Have you ever heard about the cinematic orchestra or Mama's Gone? These bands are British and they agreed to play music in small Ukrainian town. 
just because this place is magical. It attracts people from all over the world. Just Coctable doesn't have five-star hotels or expensive restaurants. Likely you will spend these days sleeping in tent on the beach and eating junk food. But trust me, this will be the best days of your life. The video structure are clearly a choice of the ones that's creating them. The videos that are already uploaded have an oral narration of the creator describing the place and explaining why it is of value. All these are accompanied by photographs, some of which are of personal nature.